Alright, hi everybody. Uh, today is January the 1st, 2018. Happy New Year. A uh, little bit of an update on this section, which is now uh, done. Let's get okay. to it. Okay, like I said in my intro, this is, uh, section is done here. This is a 180 degree turn. Um, obviously get traffic moving from one way to the other. Uh, it'll help with a continuous loop uh, so I can have trains going all the time, not worrying about trains falling off or uh, anything like that. Anyway, spent a bunch of time today uh, mopping this one up and finishing it up. So uh, let me go over a couple of the features on it. Uh, the first one, I'll start off with this control panel right here, which controls the siding power. So uh, in, in the case of DC World here, which I have right now, I'm running DC. Um, this engine is on that track and I have cut power to it, to the track, um, so that the engine, you know, can't take off and in theory I've had another track, another train coming the other way, um, it can get on there and, uh, and go the other way and then fire the power back up and, uh, keep moving. So it's, it works. Um, right now I have the power on, uh, but no, uh, no, but no actual electricity going to it. So let me do that right now. So if I can do this one handed. Yep, there it goes. And I'll throw it in reverse just to kind of give an example here. And give it enough juice here. So going in reverse, and then if you throw the switch here, power's cut completely. And I'll turn it back on. There it goes. So that's it, it works great. So this switch basically is controlling power uh, to the back rail here. Uh, oops, let me get in the screen there. So it's controlling this controlled power to the back rail. The front rail always has power going to it, but the back one uh, does or not based on the switch. And I have a couple of uh, gaps that I cut into it today. Not sure if you can see it, but uh, right there, there's a little bit of a gap. And then over here on the other side, where did I put that gap? It is right there. So there you go. And that's how that part works. All right, the uh, other part that I'm going is for the uh, two turnouts. Uh, we have power, a power changing switch, and then also the uh, manual throwing of it. So uh, this is just a Caboose Industries um, ground throw, basically. And I hooked it up and got everything going. Ended up having to replace the throw bar here. I messed up the throw bar with some soldering issues that I had, so I had to replace that today. Uh, but in theory, you uh, just have to move it over and it isn't working right now it's a little bit tight so you kind of have to do it a little bit literally by hand but that moves it doesn't impact the electricity or the, the power or anything all it does is change the direction that the the trains are going so in this case the turnout's closed and the main line is open and then what this uh, little switch controls is the power to the frog so right now when it's in when it's down it's on main power which means power is going to this frog so it lines up with this uh, lower rail and the trains can proceed, whereas if I switch it the other way, uh, again, no, nothing changes there, but now power would work for these two, and it would not work across here, it'd be a, a short going across that. Um, again, two, it's really a two-step process to use uh, the turnout. One, again, is to manually throw the switch, and then secondly, throw the power to the frog. And then one cool thing I did hook up here are these, uh, my attempt at uh, signaling and it's still not quite perfect you can see this one's kind of pointed the wrong way so I got to get it fixed a little bit but what that's telling uh, whoever's uh, looking at this is uh, which which way the power is going so in this case because the siding power is on uh, we have red lights on these two showing that you can't come through uh, this way but you can't go that way and if I switch the power here to uh, the main, you'll see that these turn off and these two actually come on, indicating that this is not the way to go. The, uh, the main power is open, uh, so go ahead and use that track. So that's something that, um, I don't know, it's, it's not a perfect way to do things, but just show signaling. It's my, kind of my, my first attempt at signals. Um, and I kind of like having the, the manual throwing of the switch. That's kind of cool. Not sure about the having to do two with the electrical, but whatever. It's my railroad and I, I kind of like it that way. So that's one and other thing. Uh, that I added. Just to show you the other side, I did exactly the same thing over here. We have the uh, the switches. Right now, this one, or I'm sorry, the signals. And right now, these two are lit up red, indicating that the power is open for the main line, which is good because it says main there, and that's lit up. Um, if we switch it over to siding, again, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see that a little bit. 
uh, these guys are both red, indicating that's not this 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 is not the way to go. This track is you know not working or won't work for you because again the uh, polarity on the frog. Again, got a manual throw here for the uh, for the actual switch, and then another switch here for the power. All right, so that will uh, do it for this update. I'm kind of glad to be uh, done with this section of the layout. I'm going to put it away and get going on uh, another one, another section, which would be my industrial scene, uh, where I'm going to have a crossing, which I still have to build, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. And I've got all the turnouts built, but I have to build all the uh, all the other switches and get all the, all the electricity going. So basically starting from scratch. I do have a blank table uh, ready to go. Just got to get it hooked up and going. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.